Wow. And actually, I mean, so I'm from Fort Worth and my mom sent me a picture from not too far where I grew up and you can see cars down there on the street with water all the way up to their windshields. I mean, this was just an insane amount of rain and yeah, it's 24 hour rain totals, but really this didn't start until past sunset last night for the most part. And you're looking out in Fort Worth where that was taken almost 10 inches of rain, but on the Dallas side of things, especially in East Dallas, a further more of rain and all this fell in the last uh, 12 to 14 hours. So a ton of rain, not nearly that much in Oklahoma and things have been quieting down quite a lot. Down in South Central Oklahoma, still seeing some of that rain exiting Ardmore right now in Southern Oklahoma was the winner. No surprise with how much North Texas got, but Southern Oklahoma was the winner with our rainfall totals anywhere from three to nearly six inches or just above six inches in some spots. And then Western Oklahoma, not too bad, a little over two inches for many. And that's our most drought stricken areas. So that was at least nice to see, even though here in Oklahoma City, we didn't get a lot. We'll take what we can get. We got just under a quarter of an inch. Some cloud cover still floating overhead, but there's breaks in those clouds. So we'll see some sun from time to time on our National Cowboy Museum cam and our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. It is nice, 82, the current temperature though, so feels pretty nice and it's not super duper humid, so we'll feel like a couple degrees warmer than this, but low 80s at uh, lunchtime here in August, I'll take it. It's a little bit warmer to the northeast where we're in the uh, mid to upper 80s. We'll get into the mid 80s statewide later this afternoon, hotter for some, but a east to northeast breeze is what's going to help us not get super hot, as well as, of course, some of the clouds that we have overhead. The big shield of rain stretching from North Texas all the way into Georgia. I mean, this is a big time rain producing system. It's exiting as it does so. We might get a couple more sprinkles in central Oklahoma possible. The best chance, though, later this afternoon and evening will be off to the southeast. And then tomorrow, looking uh, even drier and sunnier for some across the state. Expect to see a few more peaks of sunshine than clouds and perhaps an isolated shower in southeast Oklahoma, but our rain chances here in Oklahoma City have basically exited the building. So 80s today, we'll do 80s again tomorrow. In fact, plenty of days on the nine day, we only get into the upper 80s. You notice what doesn't happen this entire time, that heat dome never rebuilds. We don't get the big blue H on this map until a little while longer because we get to this coming weekend and there's another system that'll bring rain chances in by Saturday, another one for Sunday and into Monday. And there's the heat dome out in the western United States. They'll be much hotter than we will be. The jet stream dipping down, providing a little bit of a cooling effect and a front that'll come through, bringing more rain chances. So temperatures don't get all that bad. We'll be a few degrees below average for the next couple of days and then just a degree or two above or below as we go through the next nine days. So a really seasonal look and with how cool things have been lately, our hottest summers on records. We've actually been dropping. We got as high as tied 10th. Now we're back down to 14. So we've been helped out the last couple of weeks with the temperature department. 86 this afternoon though in Oklahoma City, upper 80s north and northeast with some 70s along the Red River where the rain is still ongoing. And Ardmore, those rain chances are really dropping as the rain is exiting, but Best chance extreme southeast Oklahoma for more rain later. Don't be surprised if like one shower in central Oklahoma pops up, but that would be about it. 67 overnight in Oklahoma City, mainly in the mid 60s for the state, a little bit warmer to the south. And then tomorrow, better chance for some 90s popping up here or there in northern Oklahoma. That'll be the hottest part of the state for once. And then into southeast Oklahoma, low 80s. So about a 10 degree spread when all is said and done across the state tomorrow. Isolated showers in southeast Oklahoma. And then we're going to put the rain chances on hold for a few days for the state as we warm up into the low 90s again. And then next weekend, things look a little more active. Maybe we'll be talking more rain and storm chances by Saturday night and into Sunday for the start of next week.